Welcome back, friends, to TV5 News at 9. It is another edition of Ask the County. And joining us this morning is Saginaw County Treasurer Tim Novak. Thank you so much for being here. How are you? Good morning on a sunny morning I today. I know. Isn't it great? It doesn't make you feel good. It it's does. like a good mood does. booster. Smile on your face. That's all right. We need the sunshine. Well, friends, today we are talking all about Saginaw County's house numbering ordinance. So, Tim, break it down for us. What is the purpose of this ordinance? Yeah, so it's, um, it goes back, you know, centuries okay. as far as, you know, what, what the purpose is. But really, it's um, to find an easy and efficient and effective way for law enforcement um, or, or emergency personnel, mm -hmm. utility companies, mail people to, to find and locate your home or your structure or somebody's structure if they're looking for something. So, uh -huh. and this is why it's, and it's uniform all over the country. Yeah. You know, it's kind of like odds on the left, evens on the right, and things like yeah, that. So not so just random numbers pulled out. Not just random out. numbers. You can't something. just pick your favorite number. Yeah. Or maybe your football number from high school can't exactly. be used as your, as your house numbers. So, Tim, how are those numbers? How are they assigned? Yeah, so they're assigned um, when somebody goes and uh, puts a site plan in and they okay. get a, have a legal description. And then they'll go through the county, and the county uses the road commission as their agent, and they'll assign the, uh, the numbers for them. And it's all in a system based on a midpoint in Saginaw County and intervals from the midpoint as far as every, you know, it goes every every, hmm. every interval moves up another two numbers. Oh, okay. Yeah. So for homeowners, are there some rules for actually displaying house numbers? Yep, so the house numbers can't be less than three inches big. They have to be oh, wow. in Arabic and they have to be visible from the roadway. So all those things I'll have to kind of, you have to be able to see them. They have yeah. to be in Arabic and have to be at least three inches tall. Okay, so if someone what happened to, to violate this? What would happen? Well, if they violate that, the first time they get a letter warning. Okay. And then after that, they, there's fines of 50, 150, and 200 dollars that they'll have to pay. And um, oh, if for some reason your house is too far away from the road, maybe you've right. you got a winding driveway or um, it's blocked by trees or shrubs, you have to have that sign has to be mounted on either a fence or a post um, or a mailbox that's freestanding somewhere out within 10 feet of your driveway and 20 feet of the road. So. Oh, um, so if you're missing yours, that's not, that's a if problem. If you're missing well, yours, that's yeah. not a good thing, and okay. you are in violation, and yeah. of course, they'd work your way through warnings, and there's corrective measures. If you okay. correct it within a certain period of time, the fines can be waived. So it's, yeah. a, it's meant as a more of a, you know, we all have a responsibility right. to have the house number. Okay. And, uh, and this has been going on for, for yeah. centuries. And Wow. Tell us something else that we, we don't know about this, that we really need to know about so, this. Well, so the interesting thing is, yeah. is I think, so it started in the United States back in 1790, and a system for George Washington created the Philadelphia system, which essentially was, made it easier to collect taxes. So coming from a tax collector, wow, right? Yeah. So that's kind of their thing. They even go way back in 1790, they were interested in collecting your taxes. But, wow, a little so, history lesson for yeah. us this morning, Tim. We love that. Okay, anything else going on in Saginaw County that you want to hurry and tell us about quickly before we, as we're wrapping up, anything? Just the weather's starting to warm up and start looking for, yeah. you know, if you're, well, want to use the county parks and you want to rent the pavilions and those kinds of things. It's uh, never too early oh. to start reserving um, places at Haithco and other places like oh, that. Oh, that's great. That's right. And the sun shines out today. They get, get you thinking about you spring thinking. and summer. And, oh. thinking. Yeah, well, thank you, Tim, for thank joining you. us today. We appreciate it. If you have any questions that you would like to ask the county, just send them to WNEM at WNEM.com. Do 